I poured it off camera. I forgot what I was doing. It's Comics and Shots. A completely improvised and comedic music by Howard Stern's Mick the Nerd, aka YouTube and TikToks. <coughs> Mick the Maverick. AKA Mick the Man. AKA a guy who just coughed right into your face. Today's subject, the Boondocks. Yeah, a lot of you forgot that the Boondocks was a comic strip. Didn't ya, you sons of bitches? You sires of bastards? You spawn of brigadillos, whatever that is. It was fun, you know, very politically charged, of course. Made fun of the Star Wars prequels something fierce. There was this one really great comic where... Like, Jar Jar renounces his role in the Star Wars movies and says Jar Jar is his slave name. Which is fair. Oh boy. Those movies, man. Those movies. Jasmine had a lot bigger role in the comics. Or... Hmm. Well, yeah, because, like, like, yeah. For a time. Hmm. This isn't just going to be like one's better than the other because both could do better in some ways. Like at some point in the comic strips, it was pretty much just all like Riley and his best friend Caesar talking, doing stuff. And Jasmine wasn't seen for like several years, I don't think. Yeah, that was a weird thing. I may have done the boondocks already, but I'm doing it again. I feel it. I'm doing a comic strip theme for the most part. Yeah. Uncle Ruckus, same in both forms. Very good. Sarah and Tom, though. Uh, yeah, they got the relationship status kind of right, but in the comics, Sarah and Tom were both, like, lawyers for the United Nations. And in the show, Tom was a prosecutor for, the like, like a... You know, like, 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 like the town, I forget the actual terms, who would be responsible for getting me black men to go to prison. And they would keep bringing up the anally rape part all the time. They would go explicitly into the rape. All the time. Just rape, 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 rape. I'm putting a warning on this episode. Yeah. They just brought it up all the time. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am legitimately putting a trigger warning on this because it's a sensitive subject, and it's like, you know, it was the 2000s, we thought it was, it was funny to say it at the time, but, you know, then you hear about all the Me Too stories, and it's like, hey, is this really that funny? I don't know. <sighs> I mean, they at least show that it's a bad thing, and, but it's also like, you know, it's tricky, it's tricky, you know, ugh. <sighs> it's yeah. I, I feel like the show would have been better without the rape jokes. I also would have been better if Sarah was still a goddamn lawyer instead of what was her job in the show? Housewife or something? I don't know. Ugh. Hey, and don't get me started on another show like Abandoned Caesar banished him to the comics. For those of you who don't know, Caesar was Huey's best friend, kind of like his straight man, kind of. Because, oh yeah, the comics actually kind of acknowledged how weird it was, how Huey was like a legitimate radical. Like, in the show, he's, I don't want to say Gary Stu, but he has like all these weird connections and has like a power glove that can shoot electricity and whatnot. It was weird. Yeah. He's almost always seen as in the right, and it's like, eh, I don't know. Comics? He is still a ten-year-old kid. Yeah. Show, he is, like, just even more, like, his sternness is brought up to the nth degree. Yeah. Grandpa just got dumber and dumber as the show go on. Riley, he's okay, I guess. Uh, what was the little Tara Strong character? I don't know. They just kept on bringing back Stink Meter. They couldn't bring Caesar in once. They brought Stink Meter in four times. That bugs me. That bugs me a lot. Ugh. Also, in both comic strip and TV show, they barely go into whatever happened to the 
to Huey and Riley's mom. Like, what happened there? Was that a special episode in the comic strips? I do not know. Ugh, man. <sighs> ah, well. Kind of prefer the comic strips, but I like the cartoon, too. Cartoons kind of dated nowadays for the jokes about sexual assault, but, you know. With that, like, comment, and subscribe. Donate if you're feeling nice. Share it with a bear. And always remember, praise be to the blood elk, fear the stabopotamus, and death the Kronos. If anyone wants a download for the latest season of Total Drama Island, I'm your guy. <laughs>